I'm Andrea Casillas. I am a parts materials and process engineer at the United Launch Alliance. My degree is in metallurgical and materials engineering. So right here you can see this is the BE4 engine. This is actually being developed for us by Blue Origin, um, owned by Jeff Bezos. He's the Amazon CEO. Um, what is really interesting about this engine is that it's powered by liquid oxygen and natural gas. And I'm sure that you've heard a lot about natural gas, but natural gas is actually you know, readily available. It's a really clean energy. But in this application for rockets, it's never actually been used before. So we're kind of on the leading edge of this sort of technology. And this is actually used at some cryogenic temperatures. Some of the, it's exposed to cryogenic temperatures, which means it's really, really, really cold. But it also gets really, really hot, right? Because you have fire that's firing out of the bottom. So we have to make sure that the materials that we're using in terms of being a materials engineer can really be exposed to those sort of environments. So we use, you know, really superior metals, really superior environments, anything that touches this, we make sure we're properly integrated. And this is actually gonna replace the RD-180 engine, which is our Russian engine. So or we're gonna use two of these on the new um, Vulcan rocket that you can see right here. So in terms of our new Vulcan rocket, we really wanna cater to a bunch of different, you know, contractors and different customers and things like that. So what we're gonna do, and Tori mentioned this in his press conference yesterday, was we're gonna have one base model, which um, you know we can use for different payloads and things like that. And then depending on the criticality of the mission and the different customers, you can customize that base model and build whatever you want, kind of like a race car. So we're, we're really focused on decreasing our costs and increasing the capability. So we're really designing our rocket to be able to launch really low scale, you know, close orbit missions all the way out to what our Delta Heavy is capable of doing today. Here, this is actually where the satellite goes. This is the payload fairing. So it goes up in this upper area. Um, this, it just, you know, protects it. This is payload fairing. Down here, this is where our booster is. So the booster is actually what propels, you know, the first stage and the second stage. So at about, you know, four minutes into flight, typically we have solid rocket boosters and the motor, which are running it. And then they pop off. And that gives us, you know, the extra power that we have. And then after that, the second stage lights up this part right here. This engine right here heats up and then it gets to a certain point and it may coast. So depending on where we need to be, you know, we'll get there. And then after that, it shuts off. And then at a certain period when we've been delivered to the correct place up in space, the payload fairing opens. So this top part of it opens up here and the satellite is released.